Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a back brace and scoliosis Q&A. So I already made two scoliosis slash back brace Q&A videos. They're going to be linked down in the description below or they're going to pop up in the info cards which should be right here I think. Definitely go check those videos out after this one. So if you have more questions then feel free to comment them below or DM me whatever you want and I'll definitely be doing more Q&As in the future. So feel free to follow me on Instagram. It's just my back brace. Also a lot of the questions are going to be about my personal scoliosis journey. I don't think I saw a lot of questions that are going to be about scoliosis and back braces in general. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So this is what my scoliosis back brace looks like for reference. I've been showing my back braces in the beginning of my videos just because I think that's like more helpful. All right, so my first question is how old were you when you got your brace and how long has it been? So I started wearing my back brace in I think October 2017 and it was actually not a back brace, it was a pectus carnotum brace. Pectus carnotum is basically just a malformation of the ribs and that brace basically just pushed my ribs back into place. So I found out that I had to wear that brace I think in like June 2017. So I was basically 12 and a half when I had to wear my first brace. So it's been about like two years and a half I guess since I've been wearing braces. All right, next question is, did your back brace work? I get this question really often actually. So back braces don't correct your scoliosis. They just prevent it from getting worse. And um, in this case, my back brace definitely worked. So in the two years I've been wearing a scoliosis brace, not a pectus carnotum brace, but just a scoliosis brace, my curve hasn't been really worsening that much. I think it went from a 32 degrees to 36 or 37. So yeah, honestly, the back brace worked really well. So obviously it didn't correct my scoliosis, but definitely did what it was supposed to, and that was to prevent it from getting worse, to avoid getting surgery. <laughs> All right, so my third question is, do you think you will have to have fusion when you are older? So basically, like I said, um, my curve is about 36 to 37 degrees. So it's a really small curve for surgery. So I definitely don't think that I'll be getting surgery anytime soon, especially because I'm almost done growing. So that's also one of the facts. I think I'm actually done growing. I don't know. In a year, I'm going to have another checkup and that's I'm going to have like another x-ray just to see where my curve is at. And my curve should definitely get like a little bit worse since um, I won't be wearing a brace. It's like that time where your curve gets a little bit worse after you stop wearing your brace and that's totally normal. I think it happens with every case. It should like jump to one or two or three degrees more than what I already have. In a year, like it'll definitely still be, it should still be under 40 degrees, but there is always a little, little tiny chance. I think it's like a 10 or 9% chance of this happening. And that is like, if just my curve just gets way worse in this year, seeing my experience with my back brace and knowing that my curve barely worsened, even during my growth spurt, my growth spurt, my growth spurt, my growth, when I grew really quickly, I sincerely, sincerely doubt that I'll be getting surgery. All right, so I did want to just say that if I do need surgery, um, if I am going to need to have it in the future, then that's totally okay. And if you need surgery as well, or if you're, you're going to need surgery in the future, I would really not worry about it at all, since uh, you can really trust your doctors. Spinal fusion is a pretty common surgery, I think, and a lot of teenagers have it, a lot of children have has it, and there are also a lot of advantages with surgery. So for example, surgery is actually corrects your spine completely, and I also want to add that one of the reasons that I am not going to need surgery is because I was very compliant with my back brace. I wore it, um, you know, when I needed to wear it. I wore it 18 hours a day, which is really important. If you do want to try avoiding surgery, then um, I would really recommend focusing on being compliant with your back brace and wearing it um, the amount of time that you have to wear it. It could avoid having a surgery, but if, you know, that doesn't work, if you do need surgery, again, that's totally fine. All right, fourth question is how often do you see your scoliosis doctor? Like I said, I'm done with my back brace, therefore I don't really have appointments. My next appointment is in a year. So in the time that I was having a back brace and I was wearing my brace, it really always uh, differed. In the first couple of months, I wore my nighttime brace. I was having an appointment, I think every month uh, or maybe even less, just to do like a checkup and just to check if all the straps are working and if I'm not too much pain or if we need to add more padding in a certain place in my back brace. Other than that, I think it's about every three to six months I would go to the scoliosis doctor sometimes it would take seven months it honestly really different it always depended on whether or not I was almost with my scoliosis brace or I just started or I was in the middle of wearing my back brace like it always differed 
Next question is, did you ever think you'd rather get surgery instead of a brace? I definitely did, um, like at some point, like prefer surgery over back braces. Uh, just because I was a little bit like self-conscious, I guess, of my hunchback. I never kind of realized this, but my hunchback isn't that bad. I shouldn't call my hunchback hunchback, like I should call it kyphosis, but um, I feel like a lot of people kind of get confused when I say that, but I don't know. We'll just call it kyphosis, I guess. My kyphosis is not that bad. Like I have gotten like comments, I guess, about it. Like I got, I have like some people at school or I think maybe, I think like there's a couple people at dance also that like kind of commented on my kyphosis and that were like, oh yeah like a hunchback so i guess like that's kind of the only reasons why i kind of wanted surgery was just to get that kyphosis out of the way um because my doctors would tell me that like if i had surgery then it would kind of help with my kyphosis my next question is what were your first thoughts about wearing a back brace sorry if that doesn't make any sense um it does make sense so my first ever back brace i guess was my pectus coronata brace when i first heard that i was gonna wear it to be honest i was actually pretty excited because i was like oh my god i'm gonna be so cool and different from other people i'm gonna wear a brace and then after like a couple of months of realizing that i'm gonna have to actually wear a brace i was like oh that's not fun. I was like getting really worried. Like I'm saying in every single one of my videos, it turned out to be not that bad like at all. And I could still wear still the clothing that I liked, I think. When I found out that I was gonna wear a scoliosis brace, um, I was not expecting it at all because basically the day I found out that I was gonna wear a scoliosis brace was the same day that I was supposed to get my pectus card on a brace off. So that day I was like super excited and I arrived to the doctor's office and they told me, yeah, you could take your brace off, that's really cool but you're gonna have to wear another brace for another year and a half or something like that. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're so obviously I was pretty upset. My first week of wearing it, I wasn't really upset. I was like, oh, this is not that bad actually. Next question is, what do you think is the best thing that happened to you because of scoliosis? So there's a lot of good things that happened to me because of scoliosis. I made a whole video of like pros for back braces and scoliosis. So first one is definitely that it just made me to a better person. Having a brace just like kind of changed my mindset about things. It made me realize that like you have to be way more positive in life. Before my back brace, I was like a brat. I'm not gonna lie. I was just so negative. I complained about everything. I didn't realize like what was going on around me. The back brace really like made me to a better person. I feel it just made me to a stronger person in summary and I really am happy that it did and again in the video I kind of explained why it made me to a stronger person so go check that video out. The second positive thing of scoliosis was this YouTube channel. If I hadn't had scoliosis then I don't think I would have ever had the guts to create a YouTube channel. I would like I always wanted to create a YouTube channel but I was always like way too scared to do that. So I always wanted to create a YouTube channel but I just didn't know what to make it about. So those are like the two main points. It made me to a way stronger person, changed my mindset about everything. It also just made me to a happier person in general because I'm just thinking more positively now and it helped me create a YouTube channel so that's really fun. Next question is worst and fave part of your journey. So I already talked about my favorite part, the worst, I guess. I don't really like talking about worst parts because we here on my back brace channel like to keep things positive. But like, I guess just the worst parts is kind of just the obvious parts and that's just clothing wise and pain wise. When I was wearing a back brace, um, I like hadn't really figured out how to wear like good looking clothes, I guess, with a back brace. I would mostly just wear sweatshirts and joggers. In my two last months of wearing a back brace where I actually discovered all these types of tops and outfits that you can wear with a back brace that look good and that completely cover your back brace that would be like the worst part just because i spent most of my back brace journey not knowing that i could actually wear fancy clothes again shameless plug i have a whole playlist with well actually not a, not a huge one book like, i have four videos on clothing types and lookbooks with uh outfits you can wear with a back brace it only has four videos but there's definitely more to come i just uploaded my latest one a week ago and i actually really like it i really like the editing there so uh, definitely feel free to watch that video right after this one and another i guess bad part of having a back brace was just the pain and it did hurt sometimes um especially in the first months and sometimes even in the like after six months of wearing a back brace it would sometimes hurt it was never that bad i got used to my back brace pretty quickly actually all right so that's the end of the video thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video so if you have more questions about my personal school uses journey or general school uses questions then definitely feel free to comment down below or dm or obviously if you do have like more general types 
of questions, then make sure to actually ask your doctor because they know the best. Obviously, there are doctors. But if you have more like personal questions, I guess, about my scoliosis journey or just like wearing a back brace and like the pain level, I guess, and all the things that like are only really a patient could answer, then definitely feel free to DM me or comment down below or email. I don't know, whatever you want. Like I've been saying in all of my videos lately, I am kind of starting to run out of back brace video ideas. So please feel free to comment down below any suggestions or any videos that you want to watch more of or, um, you know, that you haven't seen yet in the internet. I've seen like a couple of you guys have actually given me suggestions. So I'm really happy and I am working on those. I just haven't gone to those yet. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to watch more, feel free to subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified for many videos. And if you really, really like this video, then feel free to click the like button. And if you didn't like this video, I, I don't know, then I don't know. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye.